All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Supply drop food, did you? Um. Because, remember, it was for a lot of people, like five. I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. <sighs> It'd be nice to be close to someone. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. 
Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, Dee? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. 
I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence.
world around, things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, D. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently.
I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine, and you shouldn't be able to miss it. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. I found an axe. 
if one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I think they're studying me. Because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects of something like that? Grief? Grief when you have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts. So they set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. Oh, I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you.
Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon.
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. What did you change it to again? I'm blanking. Seriously? It's nerve-wracking out here. <sighs> it's five, six, seven, eight. Which you can also attribute to rack nerves. I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something.
Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. So? I'm sorry, I, I'm not following you. Henry, our radios were tapped the entire time we talked about it. Maybe even your first day when you had the run-in with them. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Lila. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again?
I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower, and they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. There's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us? Yeah, like us. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... 
people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city, somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Out here, you can just disappear. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to?
Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain? Or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, oh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. There's smoke coming from the site. 
Yeah, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta lull, Hank. No, no, you're right, Dee. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision-making inhibited right now. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine, but there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, is that person still up there? No, he's gone. All right, I'm close. I just didn't want to run into him. Yeah, look, be careful. I'll, I'll call you when I get up there. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. set player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. wrong someone claiming to be henry in two forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that i knew what caused the wapiti meadow fire um so i just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what i know or that i'm an arsonist or that i'm fucking losing it furthermore i bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night so someone has evidence to back it up we need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. You... Uh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago.
Jesus, this is a big cave. in here. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh... They almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. 
What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss.